Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. This pick a card reading is a general reading so it should fit any situation you find yourself in. As always we have our three piles here with group one on the left through to group three on the right. The timestamps will be in the description box below along with the cards that I'm using. If you would like a private reading with me you can book that in the description box also. And that being said I'll leave you with your selection and I hope you enjoy your reading. Hey group one and welcome to your reading if you have chosen the agate heart with the druzy on top. So this beautiful druzy is something that has taken millions of years to form when the water rests on the top of the crystal and then the minerals are drawn up through the crystal to the surface and then the water evaporates so it's what causes this beautiful druzy to a form and I feel like there's a bit of a message in that for you in that you know sometimes some situations that may have been percolating for a really long time um, or even harsh conditions I'm feeling especially with the back here there's there's many strikes on the back here and so I do feel like this is a a message of being through battles and having come out even richer for the experience if if that resonates i'm not sure but um i really do feel like the message of this particular crystal is for somebody who has gone through it and endured much and perhaps over a very long period of time but it's also shaped them and they've used these experiences to become beautiful i keep hearing the word rich and i don't know if that's financially rich but I think it's more like rich of character, rich of experience, rich of understanding, rich in a world, rich perceptions. Um, there's a lot to your story, even the little markings on the side. Whenever I get this crystal, I just can't help but notice all the different like stories that are all over this particular piece um, and things that have threatened to crack it open, but it still holds together just fine. So, yeah, so this is a beautiful stone of inner harmony. Um, and I think that's something you've achieved through your own efforts and self-exploration, maybe even self-actualization. It's a stone of self-love as well as relaxation um, and emotional healing. So some of these things might be resonating with you a little bit as we start your reading. So some of the energies in your reading, of course, we see Virgo is here. Uh, Pisces as well as Emperor, uh, sorry, what am I saying? Aries, Sagittarius as well is here, and Cancer too. So these might be parts of your chart that's activated, could be someone you're dealing with. Um, but if that doesn't resonate, don't worry about it. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Let's jump into the past energy as we always do for our group ones. I heard group two then, maybe you re resonate. I don't know, I haven't done it yet, so we'll see. But if you feel that way, go over and check it out. So first we have the Magician, the World, and the Eight of Swords. This is an interesting start to your reading. You've got some pretty big energy here. This to me is, I think it really actually complements that message about the Druzy on the on the crystal there. And, and um, the messages always do circle back around to those crystals. So with the Magician, we have Mastery something that you have really worked hard to achieve you've used all of your resources to create something good for yourself it could be within yourself it could be in your life it could be in your career um, in relationships who knows it'll be different for everybody but the magician is somebody who has really utilized all of their resources they've stepped up to the plate and they've decided to maybe even take on the challenge um, now with the world here it's it does look quite nice i think this is cinderella because we've got the little pumpkins i'm not actually sure i think this is cinderella and it's interesting because we've even got this person weeping here with the cast in the background and that that could almost represent the ball so maybe cinderella resonates with you in some way in some capacity being undervalued maybe or turning things around but um what i'm seeing here is that you may have found yourself in a situation where you have been leveling up and you've you've completed old circles you have shaken off the past perhaps or you've been really moving in a direction that helps you step into who you're meant to become 
but I'm seeing with this is a bit of self self what do I want to say imposter syndrome potentially or something that you're holding yourself back from from reaching this castle or from stepping into what you are just destined to reach into or step forward to this can also be situations that are out of your control where you feel like all is lost or that you know just really really stuck and and not feeling powerful about this situation which is interesting because you've just come from a very powerful cycle so maybe it's that whole um big fish in a no no little fish in a big pond you know where you have leveled up into this new level experience and you're feeling like oh am i right for this am i good enough have i got what it takes um there's a lot of you know it's negative self-talk in this card and even with the the donkey skin like i'm i don't know the actual fairy tale for this um french fairy tale but i do know that I do, I'm sorry, I do feel that um, you may feel like you're like imposter syndrome, that you're being something you're not or that you can't grow into this because she's wearing like an, a costume type and hiding away. So maybe you're also afraid of showing your true self as it won't be accepted or it's not enough for some reason. So in the current energy we have got and moving into the week ahead, we have got the Five of Swords first and then the Eight of Cups. And this is, well, we see a fair bit of grief here in the Five of Swords, particularly where I feel like this person, I, I feel, I'm hearing not accepted. So maybe it's within your own self or it's in a, it could be in a situation, but I do get this sense of feeling like, you know, You've just got to leave something behind because it's not accepted or it's not acceptable or you feel not accepted um and this this can be a, a definitely a situation where there's there's something's happened and it's it's got you feeling like um i heard bitter just now but i'm i'm trying to like gab grab what this is it's quite difficult. I think you'll know what it is already. And there's so many different people in it being different things for everyone. It might be why. I'm actually noticing all these severed appendages or arms and legs and stuff down the bottom. So I feel like maybe you've been up against some harsh critics in your past or maybe even from your, like your childhood. You maybe been undervalued or underestimated a fair bit in your life. Um, and so that can be hard to shake potentially. Um, and with the Eight of Cups, you are giving up on something or walking away from something that is fruitless for you. Um, the Five of Swords is a card where nobody really wins, but there's a battle and there's potentially like, or uh, apparently I should say, a, a, a victory here. It is typically a victory card of some kind, but it's a hollow victory. So you, you may know what that means for you, but you're walking away from that energy, you're leaving that behind. And I feel like you're you're on a journey and I feel like I'm hearing sage journey here when I see this person walking off into the dunes um, and that moon that's growing full um, so you, you're moving towards I feel like it's like an exploration of what you've got inside of yourself and your own abilities as you move forward into the week ahead keep on going we've got the high priestess now and then the page of wands next i'll grab the next few cards we'll hold them all up together we've got the ace of cups and then the knight of pentacles here so this is really brilliant i feel like you're divinely guided towards a new direction or a fresh start for yourself um, and there's a lot of fun to be had here with the page of wands she's got this fly swatter here and with each swish of the fly swatter it creates fun in situations so i feel like you're looking for lightheartedness and how to make things a lot I'm, I'm actually getting that you're doing that for your child not for everyone of course as somebody who's doing this something for their child to make things better for them or light more light-hearted for them i've been getting children messages a lot in group one lately so there must be someone really connecting a lot to group one who's going through some things with their child um it could also be your inner child as well of course so there's yeah there's a need for light-heartedness you're being divinely guided to new opportunities they may be getting some messages this week about something fresh to start for you these messages can be through readings um, you know, anything's a conduit. It doesn't have to be a literal email or text, but it could be that too. Somebody may be reaching out to you um, and to offer something 
lovely. Maybe it's just a sweet catch up or to remind you that you're beautiful and that they're thinking of you or yeah, um, there's a, I'm hearing a gift. There's some sort of gift in the Ace of Cups here. So maybe someone's offering something to you that will benefit you in some way, a little bit of information or um, a resource of some kind. This is, now you come out of magician energy at the start of your reading and you're ending the week in a bit of more beginner, novice type energy. So I think this is about letting yourself try new things and you know move out of the world you've known into something different and learn different things. Um, and this is a slow path with the Knight of Pentacles, but it is, <clears throat> it is dutiful and it gets things done. So to-do lists and getting yourself organized and checking those things off might be really beneficial for you right now. Self-love and caring for self is very beneficial as well. I really wanted to look up what that particular character means here, the Chinese symbol, but I didn't actually do that. I might should I look it up real quick and probably won't. It doesn't matter. We'll leave it. We'll leave it be. Um, I feel like there's something to it though. Uh, if you know what it is, comment below. Um, but yeah, this is the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles here. So I feel like this is some, this is really a, a path of softening and exploration, curiosity and fun, but also, you know, responsibility and getting things done without the heavy heart and the heaviness of it all. Like there's a lightness to this. So whatever you leave behind or in the process of leaving behind right now, trust that it is divinely guided and leading you towards fun times and you know to, to step up into a new path and it's not meant to be so heavy I feel like there's something to do with celebration here too that you're moving towards there's something you're going to be celebrating as you continue so in the area of challenge we have got temperance we've got the moon and we've got the seven of wands so temperance can definitely be about having patience that might be a challenge right now is having patience for your journey or where you're at and with the many-handed goddess here i'm really feeling like that's maybe feeling like oh gosh the things i want to achieve are you know, like i need you know godly strength for or godly assistance you might be praying to deities or guides or calling on energies that can help you get through with a situation or you know pull the resources toward yourself because the message of having many arms is that it's about achieving things not on your own and realizing that you can call on certain energies to assist you that might be hard right now maybe you're forgetting to do that or maybe um yeah you're f yeah probably forgetting um that you can actually call on help um and this help can come in many forms you know it doesn't have to be our guides and etheric beings. This can also be like family or friends or people in your community to help you get things done because I think you might need a little bit of assistance. And also, of course, patience and balance. I'm really drawn to the lotus there. So, yeah, maybe meditation, quieting the mind might be a little bit of a challenge at the moment. We've got the moon in here as well as the seven of wands. So these can be subconscious fears cropping up deep-seated beliefs that need to um, be removed you may also be going through a bit of a situation with somebody who um, maybe isn't honest with you or you um, or they don't resonate with you in some way there's some sort of conflict there and with the seven of wands this is like having to defend yourself against this person or having to tolerate some BS from them and sort of stand strong in what you know to be true, stand by your boundaries, protecting yourself, um, yeah, honoring where you're at, being able to liberate yourself out of a situation. Like all of this is a bit of a challenge and it might be striking a bit of fear or it might be like that you need help with this. Uh, so that's the area of challenge. In what will help with the challenge, we have the Fool, the Seven of Swords, and the Emperor. And um, of course, with the Fool and the Seven of Swords right there, do not be tricked. Of course, that'll, that's what will help with your challenge. Don't be tricked by shady behavior. This, this, is a, this card is all about deceit and trickery. And um, I'm hearing sleuth. <laughs> so potentially, this is a time for you to really own your own authority here with the Emperor. Um, I'm also getting that someone out there, not for everyone, of course, but someone might be dealing with uh, a father who is dishonest or is challenging or is like, yeah, it's not a comfortable energy. They put on maybe a bit of a mask or they're just not very soft and um, embracing of who you are or who you are becoming. 
this energy might be yeah very judgmental towards you or not accepting of change within you uh, and that can be hard to change and step into a new self and shed the old self when you've got these confines or confinements around you in other relationships and um, the society at large or the people around you yeah so I feel for this here, like this is multiple messages, of course, but this is a time for you to be open to trying new things, um, going in different directions, doing things you haven't done before. This can also be a card of strategizing. We can't skip that, that you, it may be needing that you, you it may be that you need to really strategize and make a plan and be very careful um, with how you organize your time and what you prioritize. Um, but with the emperor here, this being your energy, I feel like this is, again, having strong boundaries and not tolerating any BS. Yeah. I'm just like looking at this and I'm like that someone's trying to rip someone off. That could be the case. I'm not trying to strike any fear, but you will know, you know, if that resonates with you, you'll be like, yeah, I know about that. And um but what i'm seeing here is that like you've got some sort of protection in with the armor and i think you're well prepared to handle any just low level crap that might come your way you can handle that um and, and especially with like looking in a new direction and like just with the full card again we've got this castle there's something about separating you from a home or a castle something you want to achieve you may feel so far away from but just be where you're at now and go with the flow and work with the community around you because you will get there wherever you need to be. You will, you will end up where you're meant to be. So in the area of what you don't see coming, we have the two of wands, the nine of cups and the four of wands. This is a beautiful surprise for you. So what you don't see coming is a change in direction. Um, you probably do see this coming for many of you, but it is actually happening here where you're to make some sort of choice. And this choice brings you wish fulfillment. It could be in a loving relationship here. We got two couples. This is, it doesn't have to be, of course, a romantic relationship, but you know, we do see two lovers in both cards here. Um, and I feel here that this is about you joining with communities that are accepting of you or that you can be embraced. It's also about having maybe host, I'm getting space home. Ugh, yeah, room in your home space, like maybe somebody's moving out or maybe you're moving or there's something there's some sort of change that happens within your home that brings you a lot of joy and a lot of fulfillment. Um, there could quite literally be a wedding coming up for some of you. Um, and a traveling a journey to travel to go to a wedding potentially um, or to go to some sort of event definitely a change in the home space that is really beneficial and happy like you might be decorating or putting new things up around the home doing some gardening there could be a spring clean happening or um, yeah just a change of the energy in the home and lots of wish fulfillment is coming in for you and this can also be about divine relationship four of wands in the outcome of the tarot, we've got the Ten of Swords, the Five of Cups, the Six of Wands. With this particular card, you can see she's tried to reach up onto this kayak to get back into the boat and save herself, but somebody has chopped the fingers off so that they can't do that. And it causes them to sink to the depths below. And then we have, it's almost like she's come out of the water and she's now weeping for what, what the betrayal or what was lost. Um, if it wasn't betrayal, just what was lost. And within all of this so like i think it's inevitable that there will be you know these feelings of sadness we've got immediate energy the five of cups so we've got a lot of head in hands and weeping in the cards but it's also you know you you do walk away from this energy divinely guided and there's good opportunities that come to, to lift you up again and that's probably why the six of swords uh, wands is here i might as well talk about the six of swords that's about releasing that pain um, and letting yourself move forward without holding on to the baggage and the pain of the past, but allowing yourself to have new beginnings. And the six of six of wands here is a recognition from your peers and being acknowledged for your hard work or where it is that you stand now. So things will lift up again if you're going through some sort of ending or loss. You can see here that things are it, it is happening for you, not to you, potentially. Um, or this is about this is about leading you to where you're supposed to be. And I just feel, again, I'm actually coming back to that richness of experience, the word rich with this card, just seeing all these 
um, adornments on the horse and even herself. Like, I feel like there's, um, like everything you've been through makes you a, an amazing person and will influence the people you come across in some positive way. So in the tarot, uh, no, in the oracle, we've got from Sufi Wisdom, imagination, draw from the well of your capabilities. It's a beautiful card. We'll just go to the end bit, I would say. This oracle comes as grace to free you from all you have known and guide you to use your imagination beyond what you have used it in the past. Behold imagination as a gift. Let it be the bridge that connects your physical reality with spiritual reality. Explore your past, learn from it, and use it to help you set your direction as you envision the future. You are guided to be free from obsessive concerns and limiting fears to attract new opportunities. Dear one, be open to change. Life is rich, there's the word, life is rich with opportunity. I think you're rich too with some with something. There's like, I'd love to hear about it below if you want to let me, if you want to share that. I'm sure other people would like to read those comments too. Um, life is rich with opportunity and so many resources are available to you. Whether you create or simply celebrate the moment, it is crucial to be free to discover your unique path. The moment you find your way to en uh, engage creatively with life, you will discover you can draw on your own abilities and what is natural for you. Suddenly you see the universe opening up and befriending you. You will begin to see beauty in your surroundings and in yourself. Soon you will experience the improvement of your own reality. We can see that here, but there's like, whether it's imposter syndrome or something inflicted, there's a challenge to move through before you really burst forth into this fresh energy you ought to become or something like this. The mantra is, I'm allowing my imagination to guide me in finding new directions and possibilities. I'm accessing my own potential to live a more creative way of life. Beautiful. You also have from the full moon in Virgo, um, take inspired action. So definitely a time to be doing exactly that, taking inspired action. This can be about getting organized and writing to-do lists so that you can tick things off. Um, Virgo can be a very uh, self-critical energy as well. So do be mindful of any of that that's going on. You might be really illuminated right now. There's some, maybe you're feeling like your faults are um, coming up to the surface for you for some reason. There's definitely a lot of that going on within our planets right now. We've got what, mean, Venus, Mercury, the Sun, Chiron, the North Node, all in Aries some big energy right there so like looking at the sun illuminating and the and chiron our deepest wounds and if you can hear a little baby kitten it's because we've got two new babies they're like so adorable they're five weeks old anyway do not be self-critical get yourself organized take inspired action let's have a little look here what have we got um I forgive myself for everything. I am doing my best. That's what stands out to me. And Wednesday being a powerful day. Um, it's important to believe in our dreams, but we also need to take practical steps towards them. The energy of this card will help you connect with that reality. Find a balance between dreaming big and being practical. Yeah, so stop second guessing yourself and get on with it. <laughs> we have the card elves and playfulness um, from where is it from from the sacred forest oracle and we've got these beautiful fairies dancing in the woods and there's a lake there so definitely a time for you to be connecting with your inner child and any playfulness i wonder if we should have a little look it's a number 15 if that is a number for you or it's been coming up what have we got here? Embrace your innocence, let go of heavy responsibilities, give yourself a break. Nurture your spirit by doing something fun. Joy is as important for sustaining yourself as food as the food you eat. And that was very much a part of the message in your week ahead with the page of wands. You're going to be getting an opportunity to find some lighthearted fun and let, let some steam off. You've got the card Stag Spirit with Take the Lead. It's also the cover 
for this deck as well, which I thought was quite nice. So definitely like maybe you're front and center or with the six of wands in your outcome, you're going to be front and center. You're going to be taking the lead and stepping up in some way. Um, again, with the adornments, maybe that's something you're wanting to do right now is experiment with your look and um, wearing outrageous earrings or just doing something that, you know, feels like it's more reflective of what's going on on the inside and expressing yourself. So with take inspired, I oh know, uh, with take the lead, take inspired action and take the lead, right? You've got both those cards. Whether or not you have set your intention to lead, you may have found yourself suddenly called to step out of the front, forefront, up to the forefront of your life. Stag spirit is a reminder that now is a time to heed the call and be sure, strong and compassionate. Others will look to you and you have it within you to see through the eyes of stag spirit and walk with confidence as you take on responsibilities that are yours now and model integrity in all that you do and in all of your relationships. Be willing to see the best in others so that your compassionate heart keeps you on the right path. Stag spirit wants you to know that your responsibilities now are to yourself too for the learning and developing new skills. For, so for you learning and developing new skills. The best in you is coming into view as you step forward with strength, knowing that spirit supports you as compassionately, as you compassionately take the lead. You are a model for transformation now, sharing your experience, strength and hope with others so that they may grow and discover their best selves. It is a, what a gift that you are. Stay humble and authentic and walk your talk. So this is how a wise leader leads. There is a protection message I'll read for those that feel they would like that. Others may not be as far along as you are on your journey. And when stag spirit ap appears in, your, in the protection position, you are called to be compassionate and patient as you find yourself leading the way. When others struggle to follow you, they may be unsure that you can be trusted, challenging you to be kind and strong, challenging your value and questioning your worth. Know that spirit has put you in this place at this time for a purpose and will not abandon you when you need help with your new responsibilities. Or perhaps you are actually uncomfortable leading, maybe temporarily trapped by your small self and are therefore promoting yourself too strongly, afraid that others might see weakness or imperfection in you. Let go of your fears and let stag spirit remind you that you have what it takes to lead wisely and ethically if you practice self-honesty and listen to others who wish to support you. And I really feel that with that, you know, eight of swords there in your immediate past-ish energy, right? I'm just seeing like there's something to just get over here within yourself potentially and um, only where that applies I don't mean that to sound harsh if somebody is grieving the loss that is very serious like that's you know you don't say that but you know take it where it fits so we have some self-care prompts and higher self messages so the self-care prompts are to 30 number 34 have a good stretch <clears throat> land in your body a beautiful yoga practice would be wonderful for you um, and you've got unplug reading a book taking some time out not listening to whatever negative stuff is coming in unplug from that unplug from the world maybe for a time unplug from social media connect with yourself what can you learn some self-care prompts are challenge yourself fits the reading doesn't it challenge yourself to do better and don't set limits on your potential definitely that last bit do not set limits on your potential imposter syndrome be gone we have the colors you wear so again about expressing yourself you might be trying to change it up a little bit maybe if you're someone that wears black all the time you want to bring a bit of color into your wardrobe um, but using color magic by wearing colors that attract the things that you want you might like to do a little googling around that if that feels like a message for you and then higher self messages you have you have intuitive ideas that you really need to act upon um, and you have spend more time on your spiritual growth with a beautiful butterfly so there's definitely a strong message of becoming in your reading today what else have we got here? The Knight of Cups and the Three of Pentacles as well. You've definitely got a message coming in and potential opportunity to collaborate or work with people here. 
Um, but I feel like with that Knight of Cups energy, it's also about having fun along the way. So that's an added message there of that playfulness. So that is what I have for you, Group 1, for your beautiful Agate Druzy reading. I hope that this has resonated with you and brought you some sort of comfort, clarity or guidance. Um, if you'd like a private reading, you can book that in the description box below. And that being said, I look forward to reading for you all again soon. Bye, Group 1. Hey group two, welcome to your reading. If you have chosen the Mukite point, then this one is for you. And of course we have what I like to call a little image of Calcifer here. If you haven't seen um, Howl's Moving Castle, you might not know who Calcifer is, but he's a character in that beautiful movie, um, which when I first, um, saw it like I knew the character but I had never seen the movie and so this actually made me go and watch the movie and you know I didn't regret it it was a good movie so if you haven't seen it this might be your message to go and watch Howl's Moving Castle it's a sweet movie um maybe your castle is moving <laughs> but no this is this is a little flame he's a little fire guy he's like the animating force of the castle that moves about and um yeah without calcifer the castle would be gone so there's something maybe it's about your animating force as well something like this like or everything would crumble without you maybe maybe somebody's crumbling without you but um calcifer yeah so we have this is a this stone is a, a supportive stone in times of stress and trying to make difficult decisions so it can be a supportive mukite can be supportive for that so maybe you're feeling a little bit challenged and got some choices to make we've got a little tilly here if she pops up and says hello um so yeah in your reading some of the energies are aries leo aquarius capricorn pisces gemini leo again and taurus up there as well so yeah some pretty pretty big energies on the table that's for sure uh that could be you know, uh, something something that's activated in your chart right now. It could be someone you're dealing with. But anyway, we'll jump into the past energy for group two. Starting with the six of pentacles, the emperor, the sun, and the eight of swords in the past energy. Interesting to see the um, Aries and, and the sun right here because we've got the sun in Aries right now and we might as well touch on everything else that's sitting in Aries, right? We've got Venus there, we've got Mercury retrograde there, we've got Chiron and the North Node. So there's a lot of big energy sitting in Aries right now. Maybe looking at what uh, house that is, if you know your time of birth, um, that might be helpful to see where it's impacting your life. Getting an astrology reading by our girl, um, mapping your soul astrology. Fantastic astrologer right there, if you're interested. Um, but anyway, in your reading here, we've got the Six of Pentacles first and foremost. And when I saw that, I just immediately felt like um, being taken advantage of. And so some of you may feel that, you know, situations in the past, this is past energy, mind you, you may have felt like things have been a bit out of balance in the past or you've been constantly the one giving. It also shows, some, actually, the first thing I got before that was what a beautiful person you actually are somebody who's very charitable, all these energies show somebody who's very capable and charitable and has everything it takes to be successful in whatever they choose to pursue. Um, and here we have a woman who is, you know, giving to what appears to be a homeless man. There's a soup kitchen in the background. So you might be someone who actually, ah, volunteers your time. <laughs> I like Dilly. Um, a little scratch there. So... Yeah, you might be somebody who has a lot of responsibilities. We've got the emperor here, which appears to be a, a woman. She's on the phone. We've got a pot boiling in the background. We've got a, a cuppa there. We've got a, a date circled on the calendar, which is the 31st of October. That might be relevant to you in some way, but um, I'm, I'm feeling more like you've just got a lot going on. You know, we've got a family occasion here with the sun. So I feel like actually when I look at this, you've been perhaps trying to hold it all together um, for everyone else. That might have been the case, um, especially when, back to the calcifer, right? Because without calcifer, it would all fall apart. Isn't that interesting? So 
so um, you know we've got writing to-do lists and on the phone and making appointments so there's a lot going on for you in the recent past energy and maybe you're feeling trapped by it all maybe you're not feeling good enough to step up to all of this because it's just too much or maybe you've got some negative self-talk going on where you're limiting beliefs or limiting thoughts around um, what's going on for you now what I've also got for somebody was um, some something being exposed in relation to a father here with the Emperor and the Sun and the Eight of Swords being after that. So that could resonate with somebody out there that there's been like some um, something exposed or illuminated in relation to their father or a father figure or um, the father of their child or something like this where things have felt, you've firmly felt trapped to that situation or how to handle that situation. Um, you may have felt like on the outside I'm getting for somebody here or um, like, if finding it hard to fit in or finding it hard to um but it's both i'm actually with the eight of swords i want to say that potentially part of this is your own beliefs um take it if it resonates right so yeah past energy looks quite interesting but i just do want to again reiterate that I, what i see here is a, a very remarkable person in yourself somebody who's very very capable and very loving you have a lot of love to give you have uh, a lot of creativity and I think um, I think you're like I'm just here like getting in charge of your life and I'm getting I feel like quite a sore back um, up upper sort of upper middle back so I don't know maybe you're working at a computer a bit much and yeah I just got like a hot rush with all of that so maybe like there's a bit of pain or um, maybe the back heart or just needing a good stretch um yeah it sort of came and went so yeah once i touched on it it went away so that might maybe you're needing a massage maybe you're needing it touched on maybe you're needing kinesiology um so yeah acupuncture i'm hearing okay i'm getting all these modalities coming through i'm like all right they'll, they'll choose what they need okay um radio so trying to figure something out might be the case here as well with the eight of swords got a lot of books around them paperwork maybe you're studying or maybe you've got a lot of changes or responsibility to deal with right now and you're just finding it a little bit tricky or overwhelming so as we progress into the week ahead we have got the star card first a beautiful woman with her children and the dog playing and splashing in the in the block pool the star is all about healing and hope it's a renewal of hope when things have all felt lost perhaps from the eight of swords energy into the current energy of rest rest uh, restoration of health of health maybe of hope i wanted to say um and things looking up for you and you're doing your best to really um you know bring the light into a situation or into yourself or for your children if that's the case Next, we do have the uh, Seven of Wands. So those, you are still facing challenges. Is this challenges to do with the King of Pentacles? So we're not sure, that's what's next. So King of Pentacles is somebody, it's like a, a working father. It's somebody who is quite you know, successful with money or um, perhaps they are, you know, it can be a bit of a workaholic at times, but they, they seem to manage to get it all done. Um, they, they can be a little bit materially obsessed or materially motivated with the devil coming out next as well. And with the seven of wands, you might be finding it really hard to find maybe work-life balance within your, your relationship with your partner and the children and the work and everything. Like maybe finding that a bit difficult. Maybe that's your story right now. But this can also be many different things. Maybe you've had a separation with a partner and you're trying to work out like co-parenting strategies and that's finding finding that challenging or having to defend yourself against an, an ex-partner or in the week ahead you're having I feel like you're having a conversation or you're dealing with uh, this king of pentacles energy or another energy perhaps maybe you're the king of pentacles it's very hard to say for a general reading but like I really feel that like you're doing the best with what you've got you definitely got challenges coming through another person I do feel um and or maybe even within yourself like just not coming up uh what do I want to say not coming up against the right people I was going to say but I don't know if that's right um i'm actually getting from this card that he like for someone out there that you've got this person who's telling other people things about your situation or about yourself that aren't true and then you've got to go and do the um you know the what do you call it what do you call it 
damage control or like recovery of that you know gossip or something not for everyone but there's definitely that message of gossip or having to deal with someone who's not very healthy um, you could also be looking at your own patterns and, uh, and maybe even addictions things that aren't healthy for you maybe it's ice cream maybe it's sugar um, maybe it's obsessing with things that aren't good for you or, or needing to liberate yourself out of situations but this week it's all sort of happening for you to um, I think gently you've got the we've got the high priestess and the six of swords here I'm finding it a little tricky to read and I kind of feel like I'm all over the place but maybe that's what I need to do but with the high priestess and the six of swords you are divinely guided through this situation to release attachment you may be feeling attached to a situation or a person of the past you're being guided to release that attachment even if it is challenging and to look to the future with hope and optimism you're being you really are being supported and guided there'll be more messages and synchronicities to come your way this week that really encourage you along that path of releasing attachments and um, removing yourself from situations that were never good for you it's not uh, with, I'm just seeing with that seven of seven of wands like I'm getting that pain in the back again oh it's felt a little crack then <laughs> maybe it's me um, <laughs> um, but as soon as I mention it, it it goes away so there's, there might be something you're going through that actually like really actually physic you, you get physical symptoms from the thoughts of it or the attachment to that it might be nice to do like a, a bit of a cord cutting if that is resonating with you and don't forget to sort of sweep the back heart um, yeah you've, you've got you've got a lot of support moving you towards a, be, a better horizon or like a, a more magical experience in life you're leaving behind something that like i said before it was never right for you or wasn't good for you for some reason and it is you know it's it's a desolate wasteland that she leaves behind and is guided by a spirit to move towards magic and okay i just i I don't know why I heard the word profanity. I'm like, what? I think I wanted, like, it was, I don't know, something more profound, and that's not profanity. Profanity is swearing, so I'm like, what? Anyway, um, I don't know. Maybe that resonates with someone for some odd reason, but that's cool. Moving along. Um, so, yeah, there's, like, with this one, I keep coming back to the Seven of Wands again. I'm, I'm so she's got she's in a boardroom and she's looking at the stats. So you might be looking at the stats of something, you know, collecting data or figuring something out, something like that, or trying to. I just saw twelve, twelve there. Um, something mm, like devising a plan with how to navigate this situation, this tricky situation. Maybe you've got a um, you've you've. Oh, you might be dealing with this King of Pentacles energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn doesn't have to be. We have got strong Capricorn here with the devil, though. Um, you may be dealing with, you know, authorities or your boss or um, somebody who has like a what might be like they they're in a good position. So it might be a feeling like it's a challenge to come up against them if that's what resonates with you. Um, yeah so let's go to the challenge we have the uh, hanged man the eight of cups and the lovers so feeling a little bit bound right with the hanged man but what i like about this hanged man is it has taken a lot of strength to be able to hold that pose in yoga again we've got a bit of a stretch message happening here i'm building in a strength core strength um upper body strength all of the strength so it I think this I think this is showing that you've had to really go through a fair bit in this situation you know to get the, a different perspective or to or to maybe you are going through a lot to try to gain a different perspective I just saw 1331 there so we're getting like a bit of mirroring numbers um, maybe you're dealing with mirroring projection projections from others I don't know um, so yeah with the eight of cups again another message of those that might be studying like there's a lot to go through you might be feeling a little overwhelmed but this is also a card of releasing and letting go um and with the with the lovers here as well you might be like trying to move house trying to find a place to live or um you might be you know trying to release uh, i don't want to say it I want to more focus on like committing to something better for yourself and the, the challenge that might be the challenge for you is feeling like you're not quite you're not quite sure where to go or what it is you're supposed to commit to or 
um, you might be having doubts around certain um, options, which makes sense coming back to the Mukai crystal uh, being about, you know, making difficult choices and like, yeah, having to choose something that's, it's not easy to choose. The lovers can be about a soulmate energy. Maybe if you've been trapped to a soulmate energy for some time and you're still in the process of releasing them, but also working out why, why things happened the way they did, what was the purpose for them in your life, what were the lessons you were supposed to learn. Um, I think there's a lot of questioning going on here in the challenge area. And it does say for sale, maybe you're trying to sell a home, maybe you're trying to find a home to buy or, or rent or yeah. Feel a little bit tired at this point just suddenly so maybe you just also need a bit of a rest maybe someone watching is falling asleep i've had that a few times um in the past oh no sorry <laughs> see now i'm all confused don't know where i am don't know what i'm doing maybe you feel that way at some times so um and i got a little pussy cat moving around here do you want to say hello what will help with the challenge that's what it is um, so what will help with the challenge? We have the Two of Cups, Queen of Pentacles and the Fool. Loving relationship is depicted here. What will help with the challenge is companionship. Perhaps being your own friend as well. With the, um, with the, what do we got here? Some of you actually, hey Till, some of you might be working something out in a relationship and finding that particularly difficult. I don't know if you can hop on the table, darling. I'm trying to read cards. Um, I'll just pop you back down. <laughs> She's like, I'm here. Beautiful girl. Such a snuggle puss. Yeah, you might be trying to work things through in a relationship. Um, just because we have got, you know, like there's challenges here, but you've also got the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So that's not for everyone. You'll know if you're going through like a relationship that's challenging and you're trying your best to make things work and you know and if that's the case then you can see that there might be some improvement here there's there's high chance of improvement for those that are working through a relationship um it just may take some time and also letting go of the past to be able to get there um letting go of past resentments and working together uh if if that is your situation but in what will help with the challenge so we've got is that what we've got what am i what did i'm oh oops <laughs> anyway two of cups um the queen of pentacles for the fool so with the two of cups here like i said before it's companionship maybe it's going on dates with your partner or you know getting to spend more quality time together if it's not about your partner of course this can be um like seeking out relationships romantic or other that are mutually mutually beneficial and a true companion maybe it's a it doesn't even have to be a person it can be a beautiful pussy cat like tilly yes my little companion um with the queen of pentacles this is somebody who is a nurturer somebody who's quite successful perhaps they own their own business or they manage to just get it all done they're paying the bills they're bringing in the money they're supporting the children they're making it to appointments they're looking after their mental health and their physical health they're eating right she's got a basket full of fresh produce here and a, and a beautiful gentleman escorting her through a garden so you know that's what will help with the challenge i think is looking after yourself aligning with people who are supportive of you and um lead you towards a healthier life or lead you towards um more more healthy abundance in some way I'm captivated by this kitten now. Um, and then with the fool is trying new things. Now, I feel like there's a little bit of similarity in group one. You may have come from group one, but if not, you may like to go check that one out. Um, and she's swishing her tail at that. So that could be, could be true. Hey, Till. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, with the fool card, this is about having new beginnings, letting yourself have a fresh slate. If it's a relationship you're um, trying to heal and work with somebody, then it's about giving it a chance and giving it a fresh go. Um, but yeah, like I said, it'll be different for everyone. Some of you, this is more about finding a future relationship that's better for you or even moving away from the idea of seeking a relationship in general and just going off on your own for a while and trusting that spirit will guide you to this perfect person for you, the right person. And I want to say perfect. That's a bit of a high expectation, but you know, there's a, a lid for every pot. So, you know, 
Oh, so darling. She's very swishy with her tail right now. Um, in the area of what you don't see coming, now this is fantastic news for you. And that's probably, the, again, another thing that resonated with group one. They had good a good su good surprise with what they don't see coming. So you have the six of wands, the three of cups, the 10 of cups and the ace of cups all coming out together. So you've definitely got this climb to success. You're liberating yourself. You are achieving things that you probably didn't think you could potentially. You've come through a bit of a battle. You've had a bit of a climb, but you are reaching the top. And at the top, you have a lot of celebration. You've potentially are waiting on the horizon for some of you um, or a loving relationship or a beautiful, supportive community of friends, sisterhood, you know, sharing together, women's circles, men's circles, all of the circles. Um, there's, there's just a lot of celebration and coming together and achievement in what you don't see coming. So there's new love potentially coming in for you, a divine, a divine relationship potentially. Um, and yeah, like I said, some of you may be getting married and that's something you're planning for and you're organizing at the moment. That could be the case for some of you. So what you don't see coming is a lot of good times and a lot of good news. Hello, darling. <laughs> Um, and, and a lot of more, um, a lot more love, like an overfilling cup of love. So, you know, especially given that the most recent past energy is the eight of swords, this is definitely a welcome shift in energy for you, but you deserve it. I've already see that in all the hard work you've done in the past and the life you've created for yourself and, you know, the things you're doing to, I'm hearing own who you are and bring more positivity in. And I think you're maybe illuminating some of your own um, barriers, self-imposed barriers. <laughs> She's got me holding her little paw. Um, so in the outcome, you have got, yes, darling, do you want to read them? Actually, Jackson's been reading his own cards lately. For those that follow the channel for a while, you'll know that Jackson is my son and he chooses the crystals to start the readings. And lately, he's just been pulling his own cards. And then he'd be like, mum, come and have a look. So I come over there and he goes, I've just asked if the new Beyblade movie's coming out and it says no. <laughs> I'm like, how do you know it says no? And he's like, that card there. I'm like, I think you're right. It's like, I didn't teach him this. It's amazing how much of what we do rubs off on our children. Um, yeah, anyway, he's been doing it a lot lately ever since because I was so impressed with him. And so now he's like checking the cards for all sorts of things. It's very cute. So anyway, in the outcome for you, we have got the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, the Ace of Swords, Truth and Clarity, and then Strength, Courage, and the ability to overcome something. So you have got really good news. Some of you might be having a birthday. Again, we've got a lot here about celebrations or milestones with that Three of Cups, Ten of Cups as well. So if that's a happy birthday message, then happy birthday to you. Um, and But with the Ace of Swords here, the, the Strength card, I mean, I f for, for the there's a particular birthday message that like something said on your birthday or something that happens around that time is something that will um, like benefit you in some way but that's not for everyone so just take that if it's yours um, but yeah ace of swords you've got in the outcome you've got like a lot of clarity around what it is you need to do to reach your wish fulfillment basically um things become clearer you realize as well at the end of this week that you've got some divine assistance pushing you in the right direction as well so you if you're feeling a little bit lost right now trust that it's all actually going to come together for you and there's going to be a lot of clarity coming in and an understanding of what's needed you've got th two aces and a um the full card here so you've definitely got energy around embracing new beginnings or fresh energy coming in for you a renewal in the heart space um, and clarity in the mind a conversation that you've been perhaps wishing to have is coming towards you as well. There's a lot of people around you that are happy for you with the way things are turning out. So in the Oracle, we have the card from Sufi Wisdom, surrender with joy, achieve greatness through surrender. Beautiful card. And, and hey, we've already seen you achieving greatness as you surrender because this is card is all about letting go of the baggage in the past so that you can achieve greatness, basically moving into this beautiful land with the fairies and light and, and fresh produce and fresh greens and and you've actually got a lot of greens in your cards i'll just hold them up quickly because they're aesthetically gorgeous and they're all different decks mind you look at all these beautiful greens and blues and 
left white, but we'll get to them all in a moment for starting with the Sufi wisdom. I'll read from the book. It says, Dearest, life is presented to you as a divine gift of God. Everything that is created is endowed with all that is needed to continue its own life. Surrender to the flow of whatever is coming to you. Regardless if that is causing pain or joy, accept the unfolding as part of the chain of cause and effect. Sufi wisdom tells you that the secret to good fortune flows from surrender and selflessness. The key to transformation from darkness into light is hidden inside of you. How is that, right? And hidden inside of you, right? We've got this spirit, like she's reaching out to a reflection of herself, her own higher self, her own spirit. Beautiful. Um, you need to be content with this transformation within yourself to allow it to change you. You will be able to share its fruits with others not just by the words coming from your mouth. Find the voice of love within yourself and let it be your guide. When you surrender to it, you will not be shaken by every change or every new thing that comes along. Focus on the beauty of your life when a major change happens so you can be flexible enough to make the adjustment. The mantra is, I'm, living, I'm the living creation of the heart of a loving creator. I am the true expression of the spring of life giving birth to itself. Nothing in life can imprison me again. And, that, and this is a self-imposed prison here with this Eight of Swords, but you're moving out of that into hope and liberation. There may be challenges on the path ahead with how you navigate it and who you need to navigate, but you've got what it takes and you are guided each step of the way. Accept surrender to the good and bad that happen in your life and allow the transformation, transformed life to shine through you. Move out of the way and let divine voice have its way with you. Let love speak through your heart. Gorgeous. So the next beautiful green card was the last quarter moon in Taurus. Be proud of yourself. Maybe you're dealing with the last quarter of something, hey? Coming to culmination. Do you really believe in you? No one is perfect, but you need to believe in yourself and what you have to offer. Be proud of yourself. You came to this earth with purpose to fulfill. Drawing this card suggests there are a lot of unresolved self-worth questions that need to be answered before you can start to create the life you know is waiting for you. Being real is the key here. Don't pretend for appearance's sake. You're more than allowed and encouraged to be your real self. The affirmation is I'm a unique and beautiful soul. Don't compare yourself with anyone else. Instead, start recognizing your own talents and assets. A powerful day for you at this time is Friday or Venus Day. We've got Venus in Aries, so that'll be moving on into Taurus too soon. I only just got there, but anyway, give it a moment. <laughs> you have the card Air Spirit with Knowledge. Definitely a time to be thinking clearly with air element here. And you've got the Ace of Swords in the outcome of your reading. So you've got some truth and clarity coming in. I'm just drawn to this bit first, so I'll read it first. Uh, air Spirit says, inhale, take a moment to think things through. There you go. Things as well as, sorry, think as well as feel the right direction. Get clarity and become focused before stepping forth. Take care to have thoughtful communication with others. Air represents wisdom and our mental activity and our ability to reason. It's also associated with thoughts, intellect, communication and comprehension. Though through our breath, we can speak and express ourselves. Our lives begin with the first breath. So air is connected to new beginnings and the spirit of air oversees friendship, clarity and po uh, positive focus in life. I'm sort of reading it all backwards, but you know, that's fine. You receive this card when you need to think things through. This is not a time to be impulsive. Do not react instinctively to situations and people. Uh, take into consideration all points of view. Do your research. Listen to others. Speak your truth. Take time to weigh the pros and cons of a situation. This is an excellent time to begin new adventure or project. Um, it will succeed as long as you are thoughtful, organized and focused. There is a remarkable wellspring of wisdom within you. Take a breath, slow and deep and delve into that inner knowledge. It will guide you in the right direction. Okay, then you also have from the animal spirit, 
armadillo spirit, 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 <laughs> armadillo spirit with setting healthy boundaries. Number three might be relevant. We also had a number one there as well. Um, so the oracle message, learning to set healthy boundaries is a gift of armadillo spirit. You're entering a phase where in order to be, oh, sorry, in order for you to be in alignment with your intentions and co-create your best life, you must have to be discerning and say no to many things that may have been okay for you in the past. This also means that you need to learn where to end and where, sorry, where you end and where others begin. What is yours to own and what is not? Know your limits and understand that it's an empowering choice to say no to what doesn't feel right. Armadillo Spirit is here to tell you it's time to be honest with yourself about what you really want. Be clear on what you are agreeing to, declare what your needs are and say no as a full sentence. There are, as, there are acts and of respect and kindness to others. Sorry, these are acts of kindness and respect to others as well as to yourself. Trust your body's signals and you will know what to do. Armadillo Spirit guides you in making good decisions that are grounded in a strong sense of what belongs to you and what does not. Coming back to Calcifer with making strong decisions there. I'm going to read the protection message as well for those that feel that's needed for them at this time. So this is a tricky time as you may find yourself enmeshed with others, overly concerned with how they will take it if you say no or express how you really feel. Do you feel anxious saying no to someone? So your capacity, uh, sorry, so you capsulate and even knowing the outcome will not be in your best interest. Do you feel like it's your job to stop someone from facing their challenges? Instead, you might take on their responsibilities, rescuing them instead of giving them the freedom to learn their lessons their way. Perhaps you feel that if they only knew how much you cared, they would change and then all would be well. Armadillo Spirit asks you to be honest with yourself and others, no matter how difficult that may be or how much you may fear losing someone or something. Face your fear, tell the truth and set your boundaries. You will be amazed by the miracles uh, that happen when you let Armadillo Spirit protect you from taking on too much, becoming a people pleaser and losing your integrity. Another message from protection of the armadillo spirit is to relax, live and let live. If you or someone else is being defensive, you are called to step back and trust in spirit's plan. And then we have some self care messages and some higher self messages to finish off your reading. So the first self care is to have a little dance. We've got number 33 there that could be relevant to you, but having a dance and shaking out some of that stagnant energy, maybe literally the songs Shake It Out by um, Florence in the machine. We've got the card Connect, Meaningful Connections, I think was touched on in one of those Oracle cards there, um, having meaningful conversations. It's a number 19, but yeah, maybe it's time to call up someone and have a little heart to heart or just a connect with a good friend who helps you see things positively or is very encouraging for you. It's more self-care prompts are to hydrate. Drinking lots of water will make you a huge difference in how you feel. Also the quality of water you're drinking. Um, we've got make a vision board. Remind yourself why you began this journey in the first place. Helping you keep your vision and stay on track. And then the higher self messages are it was a necessary ending so that you can pursue the life you are destined to lead, leave the path be past behind, and then don't worry so much about not finding love, it will find you. So if that is for you, take it or, res if it, take it or leave it if it doesn't resonate. But we have here with a brick wall as well. So maybe some of you have come up against a bit of a brick wall and you know, wondering if you will find any true love or even in, it doesn't have to be a romantic love, but loving friendships and feeling that reciprocity in your connections. So you've also got the uh, eight of wands in the bottom of your deck. And that's, I feel like you yielding a lot of power, lots of conversations and information coming back and forwards for you. Underneath that is the 10 of wands. We've got the empress there as well. We've got the th six of cups. I've seen some stuff going on with children for sure in this group. Maybe finding it a little bit hard to navigate all of the responsibilities of the children and working and all of the things you've got to do or dealing with family or people from the past. There's a lot of emotion in all of this too with the Queen of Cups underneath that. Queen of Swords needing good boundaries. There's, yeah, there's a lot to be said in all of that, but I feel like with the Eight of 
it's almost like a magician looking eight of wands I've always felt with this particular deck um, but I, yeah I feel like this is you getting things done and you know moving things along in the direction you need to you know be focusing so whew, that is what I have for you group two in this reading I hope that it has resonated with you and given you some sort of comfort clarity or guidance in the situation um, if you'd like a private reading you can book it in the description box below and I look forward to reading for you all again soon. Bye group two. Hey group three, welcome to your reading. If you've chosen the blue banded agate little cave going on in there. It's quite a magical little cave. I love it when it shines inside. Um, so yeah, the blue banded agate is a stone of self-acceptance. The blue representing the throat chakra, so perhaps speaking up with confidence um, or even receiving information through chakra is just also much as, as much as, ugh, as much about listening um, as it is about speaking. So there may be an exchange of information or conversation needing to be had. It's also a good stone for starting over again and releasing any harshness or negativity around the past. Um, it can also be a stone when recovering from traumatic relationships or turbulent relationships, healing from trauma. So, yeah, uh, blue banded agate. So, group three, what we have in your reading, some of the signs I can see first is Leo, Aquarius and Libra in your reading could be energy you're dealing with part of your chart but doesn't matter too much let's just jump on into the past energy where we have got Ooh, it's got a bit tired I'm ready to go get into my body after this I think I might go to the gym and drop out of my head and heart and the higher chakras and into the body all right anyway here we are, group three, <laughs> let's start your reading. We have the tower first and foremost in your past energy. So there's been some sort of tower moment, destruction, upheaval. Uh, it could be unexpected, especially given that we have the sun right here. We have the five of pentacles and the six of swords as well. So perhaps things were going well until they weren't. That could have been the case for you um, or something happened and maybe you expected a better outcome because the sun was there um, um, and the sun is illuminating as well so this could have been a, something coming to light which has um, unfortunately left you out in the cold with the five of swords a uh, five of pentacles five of five of oh, six of swords is next Whew, check myself um, I think I gotta go have a little shake or something <laughs> um, and I'm sure that's me, not you guys, this time around. So uh, anyway, the, so the tower, the, st the sun, the tower and the sun. So something's definitely been illuminated here and it's caused some sort of destruction. Um, the truth has come out potentially or, you know, there's, it's, it's happened so that there can be positive growth though. Um, even if it makes you uncomfortable at first or there's been some sort of upheaval, it does show that it's so that you can move on with your life into a better direction. There's illumination with the sun here as uh, the sorry, the moon here as well, um, being full. So there's a culmination happening. And I feel like with all of this, like we've even got leaves falling down. Um, so, you know, that autumn energy of shedding the old and letting yourself move whoosh, washed away into something new. And that's the past energy. So you may have been feeling a little under the weather for some of you with the five of pentacles or trying to get on top of your health and feeling better or just trying to improve your circumstances all around. It can be financial struggles. It can also be that sense of abandonment that you're dealing with as well. So as you move into the week ahead, we have got two pages, first of all, page of swords and the page of cups. So pages are, you know, novice energy, beginners, they are curious energies. This one is hungry for information and this one is hungry for expression and heart connection as well. So I do feel with the journey you're on right now, you may feel like, um, I, was, I was hearing out of your depth. So some of you may be feeling out of your depth. Um, or having to yeah maybe start over potentially as the crystal suggested and we've got a lot of books on the floor here but you're grabbing on hold of your own truth so I feel like 
I feel like this is like a conflict of information actually as I'm holding it. So like maybe you've been told one thing but you're believing another or you want to follow your own truth in a situation. That could be the case, like going your own way and doing things on your own terms. But I do feel like you might be just keeping your eye on a person or a situation with that page of swords as well for some of you. Um, and yeah, just with the cloak and the hat in the background there, like you're stripping off maybe an old identity to sort of self-discover something new. That could be what's going on for you as well. It's going to also be heart to heart conversations or, you know, um, maybe even forgiveness is necessary in the situation. Next, we do have the five of swords, so it can definitely echo into that message of, you know, finding forgiveness or heart to heart communication around a conflict. But that may not be possible for some of you. We've got with the Five of Swords, next was the Nine of Swords. So there's definitely a situation here. It could be between siblings, actually, I'm noticing. With these two pages, it kind of feels like siblings or maybe cousins or, you know, you, it could be different, you'll know. But there's definitely a group here that it's like, there's a, there's a bit of chaos here. Like some, one person looks like they've got the upper hand and the other two people are like wondering why they would do this or why it's needing to go that way and it's very stressful with this nine of swords here this can be a card of lack of sleep and nightmares but it is i feel like just negative thinking i heard wallowing so that might be a case for you or someone you're dealing with might be wallowing a little bit in this situation or and that might be rightly so that's okay i'm i don't know if, i think it's me that i just suddenly i just feel really tired in my eyes like i just want to close them for a bit no, maybe that's maybe there could be some of you guys too feeling like you just want to close your eyes and just stop for a little bit just yeah I'm, I'm actually wanting to tap so maybe tapping is something for you that you might like to investigate or do like tapping is a brilliant um calming and soothing modality i've always just tapped these bones here especially in a big crowd like and i never knew that what tapping was but i always did it um and it just soothes like all the way down like oh i love the vibration in my collarbones um but anyway here i'm noticing as well this beautiful open window and the bird is looking in that direction even the little pussy cat's like are you okay mummy so there's you've definitely got some support around you even if it's only within your pets or within spirit and little messengers, little butterflies that flow through your garden or something that sort of give you a little bit of hope or a message because there's this a sun rising here out on the horizon and the bird is looking off in that direction and, and she just needs to look up and see that, that there's no point staying here and, and maybe it is wallowing over whatever isn't working out and like looking towards a new horizon in this situation, leaving behind a, a hollow victory or a hollow situation. So the next card is actually the Two of Wands and then the Page of Wands, which is brilliant after seeing that Nine of Swords and the New Horizon because it shows you you need to make a decision this week about moving in a different direction. You're going to be faced with a choice and a crossroads. So with the new direction, I think you take up this new direction because look, you've got this somebody here who's traveling light. They're off on a path. There's many little different characters to meet along the way. There's a lot of excitement along the way. It's a winding journey. You don't know where it will lead you, but it's nevertheless, I think you need to take this opportunity if there's a new opportunity coming your way. Um, this can be, doesn't have to be traveling journey. Doesn't mean you're moving, but it very well could be holding the globe there and we're, you know, ready to go. But I do feel like yeah, there's new, new things are worth your intent, attention at this time. Accepting and leaving the past behind and yeah, looking towards new adventures or new projects potentially, new versions of self-expression. We've got three pages here. So this is young energy. You might be dealing with younger people in this situation, maybe people that aren't as mature, or maybe you're not feeling like you're mature enough in a situation. You'll see how it resonates for you. Definitely a message of siblings here. and Maybe a divide between siblings could be the case. I don't know why, but this, this is standing out to me a lot. And I'm like, what is it about it? I don't know if you can see it quite clearly enough, but underneath the cauldron is like either a mirror or a portal. 
and I want to know what that's about. Does the ground open up and swallow you? Like, you know, when the ground opens up from beneath and swallows it all up? Or is this like a, um, is somebody playing with portals and opening portals? Is there, is this a protection thing? Is there another option, like another opportunity you're not seeing? Like, like underneath it all, there's like actually an, an opening happening underneath all of this situation? not sure in the challenge area we've got the page of pentacles we got all the pages now there you go and well sibling could be in the challenge doesn't have to be a sibling but like a younger person maybe the page of pentacles the three of pentacles and the six of wands in the challenge so it might be that like taking up a new opportunity is the challenge or working together with people again it could be siblings very strong for someone out there um or, or it could be within your workplace, of course, as well, like trying to be all on the same page and, and have yourself acknowledged and noticed for your unique talents and abilities and what you bring to the table. Maybe you're not feeling very valued or seen. Maybe you're feeling like success is a long way off or that you haven't got the right people around you to achieve what you want to achieve. Um, or maybe you're being noticed for things you don't want to be noticed for with the six of wands can sometimes being be being seen and if it's in the area of challenge maybe you don't want to be seen for a specific part of you that could be the case but with the map here and the pennies and everything and sort of winding paths in different directions with the page of pentacles it yeah it may also be that you just uncertain of an opportunity that's before you and what's the right choice to make and who can you trust or believe like who can support you maybe you feel like you haven't got anyone around you to support you right now you might be feeling alone in the what will help with the challenge we have the three of cups the star and the four of pentacles so three of cups is a card of achievement and celebration as we can see we're all cheers cheersing is it called cheersing <laughs> that's what i've always said um and the fish jumping out of the water, the pussycats chasing butterflies. Like this is a really good time. So I think that the message here about what will help with the challenge is achieving your success so far, having time to, you know, spend time with good friends or acknowledge how far you've come, having hope for the future, allowing yourself to believe that there are good things yet to come, but also keeping your cards close to your chest with the four of pentacles here and being you know, everything's locked down, they're saving their money, maybe it's saving money that's needed right now or conserving your energy, not letting too many people know what you're doing or what you're up to. Um, that might be what's needed here. Just keep making sure everything's taken care of, bills are pay, pay, the doors are locked at night, that type of thing. Just being very careful with your energy, what you what you give to people, having good boundaries, saying no when you don't have the energy to do something or you, you know, it's not within your capacity. Um, but yeah, do remain hopeful in this situation that good things and celebrations are here for you because there's definitely something worth celebrating around you and don't let like whatever's going on to steal the light from a situation that's like actually a, a, a blessing for you. Maybe traveling, like you could be traveling at the moment and finding it just really hard to connect with people or feel it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's me or what, but I just want to go straight to... Like my eyes don't want to open. They feel so good closed. <laughs> oh, okay. I feel really heavy. <sighs> big, big. <laughs> All right. What you don't see coming, group three. We have the ace of cups the four of pentacles and the nine of pentacles this is nice like all three groups had really positive messages in the area of what you don't see coming so there's definitely a good shift of energy coming for the collective for all of us now we have the ace of cups this is love this is fulfillment we've got a boiling cauldron we've got beautiful doves in the background circling each other in a loving dance We've got love and magic on the mind. We've got an overfilling cup. So what you don't see coming is a lot of fulfillment. Now this could be to do with a home because we've got the four of pentacles and nine of pentacles. Maybe you're getting your own home or you're moving or you're you know, building independence or you're, something about your community seems to be thriving or you're finding more of a connection through your friends or your community or um, changes in the home space. Just enjoying the change of season could be a message for you. 
lots of bounty, like um, my little lemon tree out the back, finally growing ripe lemons. They've been green for so long and now they're finally turning yellow. So it's like just seeing those subtle changes in your garden or in your life where things are starting to ripen or things are starting to, um, you know, be ready for reaping the benefits, you know, ready for harvest, that type of thing. With the Four of Pentacles, it is typically about a home space as well. Like, I do feel when I look at this that, like, you're maybe just finding it more beautiful ways to express yourself through your the way you decorate your home or there's sort of your spring clean maybe. Um, finding lots, of, like, being able to invite friends over and have a loving cup of tea or or whatever it is you do when your friends come over, like being able to invite people to your space and, and enjoy your space, doing something different with your space. You might be hosting something in, in, from home um, or working from home or getting more rest at home to read books and just relax in your garden. Your little pussycat on the shoulder there. Oh, I can't even... Like it's, a, it's a lot, the eyes thing. So I'd like, if, if someone actually resonates with the eyes thing, like just want to, oh, let me know. Cause I'll, I'll know when I finish the reading and I get up and I'll be like either back to normal or need to go and have a little shake. Um, so in the outcome of the tarot, you've got the Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords and the Eight of Cups. The outcome shows that you slowly but surely, I'm hearing plot along, <laughs> but you slowly but surely Gain more clarity around what it is you need to work towards and what it is you need to leave behind. Eight of Cups is walking away, but the Knight of Pentacles is striving towards, you know, what needs to be done and being responsible about it. You're having honest communication or conversations, getting a lot of enlightenment around your direction and what's required of you, maybe getting a bit more organized. To-do lists seems to be a bit of a theme in all of the readings. I think I've said it in all readings. So you know, writing down the things you need to do and checking them off, getting yourself a bit more organized and structured in your routine, working at building your skills. So see all the tools at the tool belt here. So, you know, utilizing what you've got to build things or make things better or even like little um, home improvements. You might be like, you know, fixing a, a dodgy cupboard door or, you know, something like that, little things you can do by yourself. Um, or you might be learning how to do a few little handy tools, things around the home, you know. Um, definitely, you know, a message of got having a long way to go still. And that's, that is true. But, you know, you're, you've got more clarity about what you want and where you're headed. So I think that's really good as well. Under, underlying energy for this reading is the Three of Wands. We've got the Ten of Wands there as well. You may be feeling like, you know, you have got a bloody long way to go and there's a lot of responsibility or you're carrying things that, you know, you shouldn't be carrying. It's all a bit too heavy. But that was the under, that's underneath the three of wands. That could be past energy too, where you're sort of wanting to lighten the load now. But and you've made it, you've put, taken a new path, you're on a new path, but you're still sort of waiting to see because it's slow, it really is slow moving energy. And, and I've just just remembered I'm reading for group three. So yeah, it has been slow for group three for some time. If you've been a devotee, you will know. Um, but yeah, there's, it's, it's, been a, it's been a bit of a journey for you guys. And you're, you're still waiting to see your outcome, your harvest. But you know, you've got harvest coming in. It's what you don't see coming. So keep open to it. You know, Queen of Wands is underneath that. And then the bloody eight of swords and magician like it all goes in hand in hand doesn't it you're actually a very powerful person but you've not been feeling very powerful in this situation you've got what it takes to manifest great outcomes so in the area of oracle <laughs> what am i talking about in the oracles we've got here slow down to relax break to enjoy the beauty around you and I'm just like noticing that I don't know for some reason that is now reminding me of that and like maybe is that what that's all about is that why it was standing out to me and like what I'm getting from that is like taking a break from negative people or a, or a conflicting situation just taking a break from it but slow down to relax there are times when you feel weary drained and fatigued oh yeah <laughs> Everything seems to be moving at its normal pace, yet our usual energy, drive and motivation take a bit of a dive. This is when our body and soul are telling us to slow down, take care and to not burn ourselves out. The time has arrived to sit back, relax and focus on foreseeing the future. 
Rumi carries a powerful message. Turn your focus inward and towards your spiritual development. You're being called to slow down to see more of the beauty around you. Rumi wants you to realize that if you haven't already, that the power is within you. We saw that with the Queen of Wands just now. And you can create anything you wish, magician. <laughs> anyway, I'll be serious now. Um, all of the answers that you have been looking for are revealing themselves to you now. But first, you must make the time to connect with your inner source uh, of your divine power. By quieting the mind, not only will you be able to see things more clearly and less reactively, but the spaces in your mind may bring forth some amazing insights. Whether it is a past life pattern or something you've learned, it is time to set yourself free so that you may live more creatively and step into your true power. Definitely exploring creativity with these immediate energies in your week ahead. Like there's a lot of thirst for knowledge here. You're going to go and do what's required for you to get what's what you need, obtain resources, find information, um, create opportunity, create time to do things that mean something to you. Um, the affirmation, no, the mantra is I am determined, same thing, I'm determined to fill more of my time with peace and relax for as long as I need to renew. Beautiful. Then we have last quarter moon in Libra. Make time for self-love. Maybe you're wrapping up with dealing with something with that last quarter moon, you're coming to the end of something. Have you been trying to please all of the people all of the time when you're not quite happy yourself? There's a difference between wanting to live posit positively and spiritual bypassing. When you refuse to acknowledge your feelings, you can't fool the universe, so pretending to be happy when you're sad will get you nowhere. Rather, you need to deal with your feelings. That's the only way. And if you're people pleasing, stop. Think about what's going on and why you're doing it. If you're in an unbalanced relationship, address the situation. Harmonious surround, ha, sorry, what am I talking about? The manifestation affirmation is, harmony surrounds me, I'm on my path. You might like to work with these crystals, I feel like mentioning pyrite, blue kyanite, green turquoise, red tiger's eye, pink mango calcite, and sunstone. Um, your special day is Friday. Keep an eye on Friday for yourself. A magical day. The way to get in the manifesting zone is to work through all of your stuff. Once you've done that, become a clear signal for your desires. And that's what you're doing. You're, work, you're leaving behind some things, some emotional baggage or some stressful situation. You're getting clear. It's all in the outcome. It's really a positive turn of events here. So we also have the card Starry Night with Acceptance. Embrace your inner majesty. Accept your life in all of its configurations. Every moment has profound value, even if it doesn't seem like it. Forgive yourself and others. Accept that life has provided, has provided the, and harmony will ensue. There are times when it may be challenging to fully accept yourself just as you are, yet when you don't honor all parts of yourself, you are denying yourself a full experience of life. And there's no wrong experiences. Each one allows you to grow as a spiritual being. Some people say that they can never accept the dark deeds that have been done on the planet. There is no need to do so. Some things are just wrong. However, in order to bring more light into the world, you must first accept yourself in all of your premi premiations. What you deny in yourself runs your life. The more you accept yourself, the more fulfillment and life force energy you will have. And then we have the card Dolphin Spirit. This and that are true. Just gonna read them all today. Um, there must be something in them for everyone or for someone. So Dolphin Spirit, like her earthly manifestation, it is a reminder of duality. As the dolphin is both mammal and sea creature, so too is the dolphin spirit both this and that. Two truths coexist, as the story you tell and the another as well. The duality of life is present when we are suffering, for there is a blessing too in the helpers that appear. Within clouds are silver linings. When we later reflect on what happened, we can see that a situation was both this and that. 
A choice led to both joy and sorrow. No relationship is either all good or all bad. And people have qualities of both light and shadow. Focus on the positive, for light exists alongside the darkness. Dolphin spirit calls for you to come up from below and enjoy a weightless moment in the sun as you dive in and out of this and that, and sorry, this and then that, accepting and even enjoying the duality of life. Why not join dolphin spirit in acknowledging and affirming the blessing, blessings present in this moment? In all areas of your life, there are aspects of both this and that. Today, you can celebrate this fact and recognize the complexity and the beauty of the fabric of the universe. You are at a place right now where your past self is still present as you move towards the new self you are becoming. Aspects of both selves are present, so even if you want to say goodbye to what was, you are required to find solace in this in-between time. Today is not a day to choose one over the other either, but rather to accept things as they are without judgment or resistance. Even in matters of the heart, duality is present. When your next action your next action will be obvious when you drop your bias and see things as a whole i'm going to read the protection message because i have for all the other groups and you may feel like that's for you so for, for whoever this is for protection message when you most want to be acknowledged as right and see the other ways as wrong dolphin spirit appears to remind that the story of your suffering and righteousness is a little more complicated than you are admitting right now do you want to see things in black and white and be rigid in your ideas of what's correct and what is not? Release your rigidity and embrace the fluidity of life as you recognize the greys that remind you there are two sides to every story, an upside to each downside and a blessing in every challenge. What you think is wrong may end up being right for you. So let dolphin spirits soften your heart so that you may make the best decision at this time playing with the possibilities that present themselves yes dolphin spirit and then we also have some self-care prompts and higher self messages you got a few extra ones for this group so maybe you're needing a little extra you know quality time with yourself the first one was tea make a nice nourishing oh, cup of tea something herbal maybe i always like to let you know what i'm having and it is uh, licorice root and dandelion two different blends together but anyway and they have like these sweet little nothings on the cart on the tag i love i love it it's by red seal if you're interested but um it says time for tea chill o'clock chill o'clock my favorite one is you are and you turn it over and it says my cup of tea i'm like oh really it's so cute anyway you have the card crystal work maybe it's the blue banded agate or some of the other crystals that were mentioned i did feel oh that's probably why i mentioned those crystals there you go. Um, we have bath. Take a nice relaxing bath. Don't forget to add lots of salts if you can. Some nice um, oils or really get that beautiful aromatherapy going. And your card fitness. And that'll be me very shortly. Getting out of the head and into the body. It's also like, I'm sure I've said it a hundred times, but every contraction of the muscles secretes the feel good chemicals. Um, you can Google this all you like. It is fantastic. We are a walking chemist. In a, some days I walk into that gym feeling quite defeated at whatever's going on and I walk out of there so empowered and liberated and I just can't even believe the difference. Like no pill is going to help me feel like that am amazing shift. You know, it is incredible. <sighs> so um, self-care prompts further. We have being nice. Be nice, but not too nice. Not everyone deserves your kindness. There's been a bit of a conflicting message before with like, you know, understanding where other people are coming from, but you know, you'll know where this may apply for you. Um, doesn't mean being nasty either. I think it just means like, don't give people more than what is required. And that's probably also the four of pentacles in what will help with your situation is like, just looking after yourself first and not giving more than you need to. Start saving, having some savings behind you will make you feel more at ease. And then the highest self messages, don't dwell on what might be on the other side of that closed door and you're pushing yourself to exhaustion, enjoy yourself between all of your hard work, which goes really nicely with slow down and relax and also make time for self-love. So 
you've got a lot of confirmation around just taking good care of yourself at this time. So group three, that is what I have for you in this reading. I hope that it has given you some sort of comfort, clarity or guidance. Um, if you'd like a private reading, you can book it in the description box below. And I look forward to reading for you all again soon. Bye group three.